Shana Hook. I'm from Montesca, and this is my sister. Hi, I'm Jody. Um, I live here in town, and I, uh, I'm from Montesca Lake. Um, welcome to this. Welcome to, to this, this generation. <laughs> Welcome to Kayana, Alaska. Kayana is a village of about 400 people that sits on the north bank of the Kobuk River. By definition, the name Kayana means place where three rivers meet. Today, we're going to visit with the youth of Kayana and get to know what makes life tick in rural Alaska. Mm. Kayana is a village made for youth. Hey. This village raises strong individuals by enforcing curfews, teaching work ethics, and making sure there's plenty of time off for fun. Summer is the time when people can get out and enjoy the long days and mild temperatures. The youth of Kayana keep themselves busy by fishing or playing basketball or, in this case, extreme pond skipping over the Kobuk River. This is Lexi Staley and Ariel Jorgensen. They were our tour guides in Kayana. It's a diving board. It's about 15 feet high and Joe Hill built it. He's uh, my Papa Joe. Lexi's parents own one of the three stores in town and operate a flight service. Most of the time, you can find them helping run the family business. Okay, do you know when you want to come back? Heaney Staley, Lexi's mom, can often be found in the store, working for the family business and keeping the store running smoothly. Heaney and her husband, Lee, believe in instilling a strong work ethic in their children. In her spare time, Lexi likes to play basketball and spend time with her friends. Ariel, her cousin from Nome, is visiting Kayana for a summer vacation. She wants to be um, a photographer and the future Miss Arctic Teen. You get to do more things, I think, than you'd be able to do in the city. I mean, like, there's malls and everything at the city, but you're free here. You don't have to be surrounded by people. All, you're not surrounded by people all the time, and you could do whatever you want to do. One of the main reasons Kayana is safe is because the curfew is actively enforced. One at 10 o'clock and one at 11 for the younger kids and the older kids, it's a curfew. Our VPSO, we have a VPSO and he'll go and Sirena at uh, 10 and 11 to 
let all the kids know it's time to go in. The different age groups. The first one is um, there are 12 and under, and then the next one is 14 or 13 and over. Roger Jackson, or RJ, as most people know him, is a VPSO for the village. He enforces the curfew by setting off the siren twice a night and walking around the village, making sure that kids get home in time. It's 10 o'clock. Curfew. And they know it too. Kayana also has a curfew for loud motors. Would I give them curfew too because it's too loud? Other people want to sleep, you know. Oh, I see. 12 o'clock, you know, I go tell them. The system works, and children are safe at home at night, and the streets are peaceful and quiet. Who else is on? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi Staley is learning how to fly. Her father has made a point of teaching all his children this important mode of transportation, especially for Alaskans. You can practice. Better than making a mistake. Giselle Staley, another Kayana youth who is a standout. She recently was crowned Miss Teen Arctic Circle. For the talent portion of the contest, she spoke in Anupiach about what it's like to fly, then showed a video of her skill. <laughs> Like the other Staley children, Giselle is well versed in flying in the bush. They called and they wanted somebody to represent Manila at um, the Miss Teen Arctic Circle, and they called and wanted wanting to know if I'd uh, be Miss Manila for them. And, I never thought about being in a pageant before, and I figured it's something new, so I decided to try it. I have my student pilot certificate, and I'm working towards my private right now, and I plan to go on to my commercial, but um, I'm not sure if I want to fly after I get out of high school. I kind of want to be a dentist, but I'm still trying to decide. When it comes to water safety in Kayana, 
Marita Capelli can be found assisting the village EPA officer by taking water samples and getting signatures. These signatures are for traveling. My boss, the EPA specialist, Gloria Shellabarger, is going to Fairbanks and she needs some signatures to okay everything and make sure that um, just her funding is all set and stuff. So. Marita has lived in Kayana for all of her 18 years and wouldn't trade it for the world. I know we have about 400 people here. Um, it's very green in the summer, very cold in the winter. Let's see. Um, I think it's I think it's a beautiful place, Kayana, one of the most beautiful places on earth. And just a lot of mosquitoes, gotta warn you about that. While Kayana is remote, it's not lacking. One thing it is definitely not lacking is heart. Kids like Lexi, Marita, Giselle, and others we've met have the support of the elders and parents to keep them moving towards their goals. And now we travel from Kayana to the Kenai Peninsula, where students gather the knowledge they need to attain their own goals. It's effective. When you choose Kenai Peninsula College, you'll be attending a fully accredited college that's part of the University of Alaska Anchorage. It's effective. We're the small college alternative to the larger campuses located in the major cities of Anchorage, Fairbanks, and Juneau, or the lower 48. Kenai Peninsula College currently has two campuses and an extension site on the peninsula. The Kenai River Campus, which lies on more than 300 acres of woodlands, bounded by the world-famous Kenai River and the nearby cities of Kenai and Soldotna, which provide ample opportunities for shopping, movies, restaurants, or nightlife. Our second peninsula site is the Kachemak Bay Campus in Homer. Located in one of the most beautiful settings in Alaska, Students at the Kachemak Bay Campus enjoy the benefits of a highly accredited college experience while living in an Alaskan postcard setting. No matter what stage you're at in your education, you can start here or continue here. We also offer a number of classes at our Resurrection Bay Extension site located in Seward, a gorgeous seaside town surrounded by mountains. At Kenai Peninsula College, everyone is college material, and you won't find three more beautiful college settings anywhere. It's fun. I pretty much live here. I go here full time, and all my friends are here, so it's a nice, relaxed atmosphere and kind of like home. For those just getting started, we offer free GED training and testing, adult basic education, and learning to speak English as a second language. From top to bottom, beginning to end, Kenai Peninsula College has tailored their programs to fit your needs, starting with one-year certificates in welding, office technology, petroleum technology, or small business management. You could be job ready in just one year. Our two-year degrees include small business administration, process technology, process instrumentation, computer systems technology, computer electronics, office management, and the general associate of arts degree that will transfer or can stand alone. A four-year Bachelor of Liberal Arts degree can be completed entirely on campus as well as bachelor degrees in anthropology, psychology, business administration, fine arts, and education. And they all can be completed entirely on campus. Students from many different cultures are represented here. And whether you're right out of high school, a 20-something student, or an adult learner, you will fit in. Our students are friendly and outgoing. They tend to work in groups and help each other on many levels. Our 
highly qualified faculty has years of teaching experience and is dedicated to helping students reach their personal and professional goals. With small class sizes, our instructors know each student by name and take pride in providing individual attention to each person's needs. Students will find it easy to approach their instructors and frequently they form close relationships that will last a lifetime. It's a learning environment that works. The system here at Kenai Peninsula College since about 1990 and I'm a graduate of this school myself. It's effective. Keeping up with technology is key to giving students exposure to the hardware and software that runs the real world today. Kenai Peninsula College is committed to providing the latest versions of the most popular computer systems and programs that are being used by today's industry giants. We provide ample opportunity for hands-on instructional time with fully trained professors and the best systems available. Kenai Peninsula College provides academic classes as well as vocational training. You can learn skills that will get you a good job now while you work toward a future degree. The key is flexibility. Our programs will work within the demands of your daily life. Here is the fact that I'm working full time and in addition to that I can go to school full time and this college really works around my schedule. Attending college at Kenai Peninsula College is affordable. We will help students set up payment plans, find scholarships, grants, or loans that make college an option for anyone who wants to improve their life. Our financial aid department, located in the student services area, specializes in finding financial support for our students. Another option is student employment on campus to help supplement your income while going to school. I worked for two years at KPC as a community relations assistant and it's given me a lot of really good experience that I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Student support is a priority at Kenai Peninsula College. The Student Services Center offers advising and counseling to make sure you are taking the right classes at the right time. They provide a new student orientation session at the beginning of each semester to help anyone new to college plan out a suitable schedule. The advisors can help with problems in scheduling, changing classes, or designing your degree program. And we have counselors who can help with personal problems. Flexible scheduling allows traditional and non-traditional students the options they need to make going to college possible. Telecourses, correspondence, satellite, web-based, and interactive video classes, weekend short courses, evening classes, summer institutes and classes, and even a fishing academy. Make it easy for students to get an education tailored to fit their lives. Finally, for those students who are planning to go on to other institutions to further their education, KPC credits are easily transferable to the other University of Alaska campuses and most outside colleges as well. Transferring to UAF next semester in the computer science program. It's already. Kenai Peninsula College is truly a wonderful place to further your education. From our library of more than 25,000 books and electronic access, to many large databases, to our highly trained and dedicated staff, to the good food available at Jose's. It's easy to see that we offer something for anyone wanting to further their education. We even offer a jumpstart program for high school students who want to get a head start on their college careers. Well, by the time I graduate in high school this May, I will have all my high school credits plus seven college credits. Kenai Peninsula College Director Gary Turner has the insight and understanding to maintain the flexibility and excellence necessary to provide the very best education available for our students. I'm inviting you 
to come to visit Kenai Peninsula College. Come and take some classes with us. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed, I guarantee that. Uh, we're an enthusiastic, we're exciting. Uh, there's more going on here than most other college campuses. We really think we have a special thing going here. And the word's getting out, and people are starting to come by, and our enrollments are increasing, and, and it's a good place to be. So please, join us. No matter what your passion or where your interests lie, Kenai Peninsula College has an avenue to your dreams. Education opens the door to the future, and a college degree helps you stand out in the crowd. It's our goal to be your stepping stone to a better tomorrow. For more information, Contact KPC's Kenai River Campus at 907-262-0300 or our Kachemak Bay Campus at 907-235-7743 or the Resurrection Bay site at 907-224-2285 or visit us online at www.kpc.alaska.edu. <laughs> KPC is effective. It's effective. It's effective.
world champion powwow singers, Stoney Park from Alberta. Thank you. Join us next week for the next generation.